Hey, I'm 7th Kevin, and welcome to my playthrough of Fall of Porcupine. In this game, we will play as a pigeon named Finley. We are a junior doctor at the local hospital of the town of Porcupine. This is a story-driven game where we will be interacting with the animal town locals and helping our patients. We will be playing some mini games and some platforming while we get to know the residents and our colleagues, all while unraveling a lurking mystery behind the town and hospital. Check out the game on PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and Steam. And please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the playthrough. Okay, looks seems like this is us. I guess we're are we a porcupine? We kinda look like a pigeon. Oh. Okay, I'm walking left and right. Let's walk all the way to the right. Can I jump? Oh yeah, I can jump. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Light. Oh, it's a bit too bright here, huh? I'm squinting. Oh, a sunflower. Hey, Finley. Nice to see you at last. Oh, I guess we're name. Our name is Finley. Why the long face? Oh, no reason. I. I wasn't expecting to run into my house plant here. <laughs> oh, are we dreaming? Who were you expecting? Your washing machine, perhaps? Ah, uh, good one. By the way, we need to talk about her. The way my pod vibrates when you set her to spin. Why are you? What? No. I don't know. I think I'm looking for something. Oh, really? What would that be? I have no idea. But it was important. And I think I've lost it. Well, if you don't remember what it was, it couldn't have been that important. Oh, that's what I always say. I'm sure it can wait, buddy. You think so? Of course. Come on, relax. Just take a look at this meadow. Hmm, yeah, it's a well-painted meadow. The lush grass, the bright warm sun, and this wonderful soothing music. How can you worry when you see that? Yeah, it's good to be out in the sun. I'm not sure I hear any music, though. Oh yeah, wait a minute. We can hear the birds chirping, though. There we go, better. Mm. Yeah, I hear something. Yes, I like this. Kula Mundo. <laughs> Surfer bro? Just let your leaves dangle. I don't have any leaves. Leave your worries by the wayside. The wayside. Yes, yes. I should do that. I just need to relax a little bit. Great. That's what I want to hear. Lost things always turn up eventually. So go find yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself at home. I might do that. I'm gonna have a little look around. It's so beautiful here. I wanna pick out my spot carefully. The choice is all yours. Just relax your frazzled feathers. That's the main thing. Enjoy, Beno. Okay. What a cool house plan I have. Like, uh, I'm not sure what kind of flower that is, but it's pretty. Let's look at the environment here. Oh, I can go back to the darkness if I want to. Oh, my eyes have opened up a bit. 
I'm more alert, more awake. So am I a am I a doctor? Cause I have like I have the lab coat on. Oh, E, E to interact. Oh, he's here again. Well, hello there, buddy. We meet again. Yeah. How's how's goes the relaxation? <laughs> Did you find the person you were looking for? Oh, I can choose. It's going quite well. It's really nice here. Or I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Or person. It's going quite well. It's really nice here. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Person? Yeah. What? Oh, don't mind me. Isn't it fantastic here? Oh, seems like a flower knows more than it's leading on. We're all having a great time, am I right? So, what are you going to do now? I don't know just yet. Who's the big guy behind you? The big guy? Oh, you mean this other flower? What? Oh, him. That's Hugo. We went to university together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's great to climb around on. I used to do that all the time. He won't let me anymore, though. Not since I got aphids. Oh, dude, aphids? I've well, I had plants at Aphids once. They're like a pest. Want to give it a try? Climb the tree. Climb the flower. Sure, why not? But I don't think I can get past the giant flower. Hold on, we'll have that sorted in no time. Oh, he's talking about like the beanstalk, a huge beanstalk-looking thing. See, no problem at all. No problem. The whole ground was shaking. What you do to the other flower? He was quite ticklish. You need to be careful when you climb on him. And don't break any of his leaves off. He, he prides himself on his great foliage, you know? Uh, yes. I'd also be mad if one of my leaves were ripped out. What's this? Face? Jump. Okay. Platforming on these leaves. I hope you don't mind, Hugo. Oh look, is that, our, is that our friend again? Wait, how do we get up there? Oh. Oh. Hello, Binstar. Up here. Oh. How did you get all the way up there? I'm a plant of many talents. I'm not allowed I'm not allowed to climb here anymore. So I had to come up with another solution. What do you want to do? I don't know yet. Maybe I want to dive into the water? Seriously? I thought we were... I thought we were just going to chill. Besides, it looks pretty deep. I think it is, yeah. Maybe what I'm looking for is down there. I just want to check it out. Well, whatever floats your boat, little fella. I'm more a partial shade kind of guy. Besides, I'm prone to overwatering. Chicken. <laughs> oh, the sun's beaming. Okay, I guess we want to jump down. Jump too far. Whoa. I'm underwater now. Oh, our plant fella. Our plant friend's here too. Hey. You made it after all. You know me. You. Oh, wait. You know me. I n never pass up a good time. Are you alright? I'm g going to catch a cold. Then you need to, to, to take care of me. Go shopping for me. To do my t taxes. The water is lovely. I don't know what you're going on about. No, no, no. I don't l like water. So you want to? You want me to stop watering you then? Th that's different. You wouldn't understand. It's a flower thing. Actually, maybe we could uh, get out of here? 
All right, all right. I'm gonna get out of here. Just got here. Are pigeons good swimmers? I'm pretty good right now, I guess. Oh, this statue wants to talk. Isn't that the statue from the town square? I haven't been there yet, so I don't know. Are you in charge of the water, of the water here? I'm talking to the statue. Oh, can you hear me? I'm looking for something. Maybe you've seen it. No response. How rude. Oh. I guess we can't talk to everything here yet. Escape. Swim. Hmm, we were in a meadow. In the ocean, now we're on the beach. Oh. Hey, dude. The Finmeister. There you are. <laughs> what took you so long? You're looking better again. Hey, who can be down when you're down at the beach? That moment when the excess water disappears and you feel the first tickle of photosynthesis kick in. Oh, yeah. I know that feeling. There's nothing like it, man. I just can't get enough. I forget everything around me. Who are you again? <laughs> Finlay, you live with me. Hina gave you to me. You're from her flower store. Finley, Bonley, Bingley, Dongley. <laughs> it's all the same to me right now. Oh yeah. This place reminds this place seems kind of familiar. Have you been here before? Maybe, but not like this. You sure do have some strange notions. So, have you found what you're looking for yet? No. But I don't think I'm actually looking for something. I'm looking for someone. Well, congratulations. You found someone. Your very best flower buddy. But you don't even remember my name. Now grab yourself a drink and lie down on the sand. We haven't had a vacation in a long time. I... I'll be right there. Maybe I'll find who I'm looking for here on the beach. Alright, but don't get sunburned. After all, I'm not an aloe vera. Ha <laughs> ha. Jokes. He's... He's got the jokes. Oh, he's got sunflower shaped glasses too. Sunglasses. Hmm. Porcupine, a sign with porcupine. Oh, look at all these sandcastles. Let me just jump on one and ruin it. It's like a whole oh, sand city. Oh, I gotta go down. How do I go down? Can I jump down? No. I might have to jump on this sandcastle for real. So, oh, I can. And now jump on the bouncy castle. Whoa. Okay, that was a bigger effect than I thought. What? I'm in the clouds. Chair shaped clouds. Clouds shaped clouds. Flower shaped clouds. What's this? Hello. Ingrid, nice to see you here. Do you happen to know where? Where Mr. Arndes is? Mr. Arndes? I was looking for Mr. Arndes. He's a patient of ours. About Oh, okay, so he's he's like my here? And he's disappeared. I was taking the elevator. And something went wrong. I have to find Mr. Arndes. Otherwise something will happen to him. Sorry, Ingrid. You know how much I enjoy our conversations. But I've got a feeling something's happened to Mr. Arndes. We will catch up again soon, I promise. Hmm. I must be in, like, a hallucination or something. Oh, I see. This is, like, a waiting room for, like, a doctor's clinic? Medical clinic? Before I take the elevator, let's see what's over here. Nothing. Alright. You never know. No smoking in the elevator. What place is this next? Oh, a portal? Oh, that was interesting. Mr. Arndes has to be here somewhere. Yeah, where is here? 
Hello, Mr. Arndes, can you hear me? Oh, five. Floor five? Is that a picture of a cat? Oh, antlers. Hmm. 501, 502. Mr. Arndes. Why would Mr. Arndes be in this really messy area? Is he the janitor? By chance? Oh no, he said he's a patient of ours. I kinda glide when I jump. Wait, can I go in this? No. Oh, is this blood? A door opened. Is someone there? Oh. There are boxes full of documents and folders on the old hospital. Strange place for a, an office. I guess everyone has their own take on interior design. The bed almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should... Ugh! There's someone back there. Mr. Arndes, is that you? I don't like this. There's blood everywhere. Oh no. That's blood. It's still fresh. Mm. Alright. It's gonna... Oh no. I don't want to lift that up. But I have to. <gasps> Mr. Arndes. You're bleeding. Don't move. Uh... What? Who? Who are you? Just stay calm. I'm going to help you. Oh no. S is anyone there? We need some help here. Hello? Dodge! And that's the game. We're dead. Oh. Oh, it's my alarm. Good morning. Oh, even in even in the game I get woken up by an alarm. Messages. Mia, Carl, Pina, Mom. Oh, that's Pina. Tina gave me the flowers. Who's Mia? Should I start from the beginning? Let's start from the beginning. Hi, Finley. Dr. Krokowski asked me to send you my number. I wonder if he's a crocodile. Hello, Mia. Thanks. Here's my number too. Looking forward to working with you. Oh, my coworker. Okay. Mia, that's my coworker. My coworker. Me too. See you tomorrow. You're all soon, Finley. I just heard what happened. Should I be worried? How bad's the injury? Thanks. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'll just rest up for a few days, then I'll be back at work. Hope you got hope you've hope you've not got too much work for work covering <laughs> I can't read. Hope you've not got too much work covering for me. Don't worry about that right now. Just be careful in the future, okay? There's a lot going on on our ward right now. Anyway, you just get yourself healthy again. Consider it done. Good morning. Hope you're feeling well well again. Glad you're coming back to work today. Maybe we will have time to chat, and you can finally tell me about what happened. Oh. Huh. Okay. Guess it was in an accident. Man, another of those weird dreams. I feel really groggy. Feels like I haven't slept at all. Maybe I should just give up sleeping altogether. Oof. Okay, nothing else for it. Time to get up. Hmm, I wonder if the accident I had in my dream is the accident I had in, um, in real life. Oh, my flower. There you are. Just standing there in your pot as if nothing happened. You've given me quite the restless night. It's alright for you. You don't have to go to work. If I find beach sand in your pot tonight, there'll be trouble. 
Oh, we got a naughty plant. Rebellious. TV? What's on TV? I used to game with my roommate every night when we were at university. He always kicked my butt in the one-on-one -on -one Viking battles. I figured I could treat myself to some gaming after work. Bad chance. I haven't touched the thing since I moved in. <laughs> Sounds like real life. A nice little apartment. Oh, I dressed up. Stylish. I got a heap of mail when I first moved here. Porcupine isn't big, but it was still kind of nice. A bus table, a sightseeing guide, and a trial subscri subscription to the daily newspaper. Maybe I'll become a newspaper reader one day. Then I can buy a pair of glasses like Ingrid's. <laughs> also, Porcupine's the, the town, the city, uh, the name of the town. Okay. Hmm. Which way to go? Mini, 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 mo. Let's go this way. Oh, hi. Dog. That bike's been there ever since I, mo since I moved in. So either someone moved it and forgot it, or it's not biking season here. If it's still there come winter, I'll take it with me and get it fixed up. Hmm, are you just allowed to take random bikes from the street? Is that a mailman? Mail dog? Ooh, a bear. Can I talk to the mail? Yeah. Morning, Finley. Running late? Hey, Susie. Yeah, I had a restless night. Crazy dreams. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Most nights, I don't dream at all. But sometimes I dream that I'm running just on the spot for no reason. That definitely comes from work. I heard Louis Gobert's having trouble sleeping, too. He is worried about the store. People just don't buy as much stationery as they used to. I mean, I'm not complaining. That's for me to carry, right? Are you doing your rounds already? Come on, you know me better than that. I'm finished already. Just wondering what to have for lunch. Lunch? You really have an odd routine. Well, the post won't post itself. True, but I should. Post myself to the hospital, that is. Don't let me stop you. Don't get lost now. That's what happens when you don't know the town as well as I do. Oh. I check my map. Oh, my to-do list? Notes. Susie. Oh. Susie's the only mail carrier in, por in Porcupine. She knows everyone, perhaps a little too well. I get the impression that she's a little too nosy for her own good. Huh, well she's a dog, right? Yeah. Let's see some more homes, a bus stop. There's a note here. Unfortunately, the citizen's bus is out of service until further notice. We ask for your understanding. Look on the bright side. With few prices the way they are walking, walking is a better option anyway. We hope to see you traveling with us again soon. Suits me just fine. Why did I buy a monthly bat, um, pass if the bus only turns up once a month? Oh, bad deal. Got scammed. From here, I can get to the old town and the high street. It's weird what passes for a high street in a small town. All I know is that Peanut's store is there, but I should check out the street when I'm free sometime. The old town lives up to its name at least. Small, crooked, old houses, the town hall, the town fountain, and Gilbert's, of course, the best and only pub in Porcupine. And best of all, both routes lead to St. Ursula's Hospital. Oh, so I can take both right now. Since I work at the hospital. Let's go to the old town. Ooh, big bridge. Oh, nice. Let's see. It's so clear you can see the low milk woods from here. Low milk. I like this morning air in the fall. Too bad I don't have more time. I wouldn't mind grabbing a coffee and eating my breakfast here. Hmm. 
That would be nice. Having a nice view while drinking some coffee. Oh, someone wants a car. Oh, an old goat. Oh, you seem wise. Goodness, you're a fast walker. Are you being chased by a rolling boulder? <laughs> Good morning. No, no, I'm just running late. Late for an appointment, is it? You know, the more time passes, the less I believe in the idea. What idea? The idea of being late. Are you new here? I've never seen you before. Yes, actually, I started at St. Ursula's Hospital a few weeks ago. So you're a doctor? Yes, well, almost a junior doctor. That's marvelous. People like you are just what Porcupine needs. My name is Adele Von Witterstein. I'm Porcupine's oldest citizen. I've seen many people come and go. Some were in a hurry. Some have stayed to this day. You? I'm guessing you're the hurrying type. Am I right, doctor? Yes, but only because I need to get to work. Well, one should never throw rocks into the rushing rapids. But when you have a moment sometime... I know a lot about this town. You can always ask me if you have any questions. I might just take you up on that. Thanks for the offer. I see it as my calling. But for now, full steam ahead. There are younger folk than me to keep alive here. Oh yeah, so she was right, wise. What's my phone? What do my notes say about Ur uh, Adele? Adele von Witterstein. Graceful, elegant, eccentric. I met her this morning at the market. She seems to know a lot about Porcupine's history. I never much cared for history myself, but I'd love to know a bit more about my new hometown. If I find the time, I should talk to her some more. Yeah, she seems insightful. Ooh, a turtle. Wait, I can talk... Oh, see the sign. That's Gilbert's. It's a pretty good place to go. Not that there are any alternatives, really. I'll be back here soon enough. Hey, Gilbert. You must be Gilbert, right? Good morning. Oh, you're not. Good morning, Giuliano. Long time no see, Finley. Yeah, I was laid up in bed for a while. Thought as much. The band-aid gives you away. Everything good with you? I'll be... All right, yeah, I'm sure you will. You want to you want to cool that lump on your head with a nice cold drink? Just come by anytime, okay? Thanks, Giuliano. I might take you up on that. Giuliano. Oh, what happened to my notes? Okay, Giuliano. I like good old Giuliano a lot. He own he owns Gilbert, the only bar in Porcupine. I've been there once or twice already and had a really uh, a reasonable, reasonably good time. Gil Gil Giuliano once got into an argument with someone called Ralph, but I guess that's to be expected when you're the owner of a bar. Plus, he's actually pretty laid back. It's gonna be it's gonna take a while for me to get used to the name. Gil Giuliano. Okay, so he named his bar Gilbert. Gilbert. Hmm. Oh, there's Fountain. That's the big town Fountain. It's a statue of Nino Slav. Honoratus? The founder of Porcupine? Oh, he's a porcupine. <laughs> How did I notice that until now? What's up, Nino? Why isn't the water running? Seems to be broken. Yep. Must look nice when it's actually working. Is this a bus stop? Oh, this looks like some place I can enter. What's this? Is that... Ah, uh, must be Ursula's Hospital. This way. Quite a trek. This rusty old truck wasn't there last time I came to work. It's locked too. Suspicious. What are you hiding, rusty old truck? Treasure, perhaps? A dead body? Maybe even 10 dead bodies? Is there super secret alien technology inside you? Are you the truth of all things? The answer to the great questions of the universe. Come on, reveal your secret. 
But now I'm curious. Oh, another. Can't go up here. Oh, I can. There's a bike stuck in the war rocks over there. In a fridge. TV. Can I sit on the bench? No. Looks like a church. In the foreground over there. I mean the background. There's a plague on the tree. This ancient bark has stood here since the foundation of the town of Porcupine. Nino Slav Honoratus, the founder of Porcupine, planted it himself. He was known to misplace and lose things. He reached this place after wandering for 100 days. He founded the town and built himself a house. And on the day he wanted to move in, he lost his keys. Oh. 40 days later, he found them on, on this very spot. Sounds like something I would do. Hmm. Really relatable. St. Ursula's Hospital is this way. Another bus stop. Good morning, Mr. Bus Stop. I'd love to have been hopping off here some time ago. Coffee in hand, nice and relaxed. Well, maybe tomorrow. You can't slack off every day, Mr. Bus Stop. Yeah. This, this must be like a fast travel point. St. Ursula Hospital. You squeal, we heal. <laughs> yeah, I relate too much to Finley. This statue's out here every day. Yeah. It'd be weird if it wasn't. From dawn to dusk, come rain or shine, it's never complained. How do you do it? Regular sleep, probably. Balanced meals. Exercise three times a week. Well, a guy can dream. <laughs> oh, don't step on the... All right, let's enter the hospital. The hospital isn't huge. Still, you can get lost here from time to time. It's not a problem until you accidentally end up on the operating table. That's why you should always pay attention to the sign, kids. What's over here? Oh, another a parking spot. One car, two car, three car. I should really get to work. Yeah, I forgot of. I forgot I came here to work. My patients are waiting for me. Time to get into my attire. Let's enter the hospital. Hmm. Any candy bars? The good old vending machine. A handy source of breakfast, or an end of the shift reward. Of course, it's been broken ever since I started here. But hey, it's important to have constants in life. Still, I wouldn't say no to a chalk dog right now. Every morning, they gleam through the glass, laughing at me. Just like they've been doing since before I was even born. And still will be long after I'm gone. They will outlive us all. Thousands of years from now, alien beings will dig up this vending machine. What was this machine's purpose? What primitive civilization created it? That's what they will ask themselves. Perhaps with their advanced technology, they'll be able to actually get at the tasty th treats. You've got a long way to go, vending machine. And Finley has a creative mind. Oh. And dresses pretty quickly, too. Oh, you're Ingrid. Morning, kiddo. So, you're back, huh? Oh, I'm not sure why I gave Ingrid that, that voice. Uh, morning, Ingrid. Yes, my injury is healing up nicely now. I heard about your accident, of course. Everyone's heard about it. Everyone wants to know what happened up there on the fifth floor. Oh, yeah, me too. 
You want to hear my theory? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, sure. This might sound a bit complicated, but the evidence speaks for itself. I've thought it through several times and it all makes sense. So, what do you think? I've only known you for a few weeks now, but it must have something to, it must have something to do with you specifically. Really? What do you mean? Well, we have a name for that kind of thing here in Porcupine. A sophisticated technical term that aims to define the social and the anthropological characteristics of the phenomenon. What? The term is... Klutz. <laughs> Just kidding, kiddo. <laughs> How's Mr. Arndas? The odd duffer is still alive. The old duffer is still alive, sorry. Making himself cozy. Wait. How do you spell cozy? I thought that was what it said. In his bed on your reward on your ward again. You okay. I'm really glad to hear that. You've only been here a few a short while, but because of that because of that night people know you now. You're the boy who survived. Very funny. <laughs> but seriously, people might still have questions for you. Just so you know, better be prepared. Anyway, my coffee's getting cold, and you need to swing your butt on over to your ward on the third floor in case the dent in your noggin caused more damage than we thought. I know where my ward is. That's good. Up to it then, before Dr. Krokowski rips your head off. You're right. I'll get going. Let me just take notes on you, Ingrid, right in front of you. Today, I entered a hospital as a resident for the first time. Oh, these are notes from a few weeks ago. Ingrid walk welcomed me and roughly explained everything to me. She's the heart of St. Ursula's. I'm just concerned about her snacking and coffee consumption. <laughs> you know, I've read a lot that doctors are overworked, right? And that's weird to me. How unhealthy their lifestyle is but I guess they know it right oh did I take the stairs or the elevator hmm where are you going ooh a diner cafeteria this is a long hallway banner's office and exit okay I know I'm supposed to get to my ward but I'm just so curious about Everything. This must be the back. Oh, moose. Hi. Hey, good morning. Morning. You're new, right? Haven't seen you around, and we know everyone. Right, everyone. I'm not exactly new, but I was sick for a few days. Um, same story every time. The rookies always get sick right away. Right away. I was in an accident. Clumsy too, huh? He, he hasn't even introduced himself properly yet. Oh. Introductions first, that's the way. I'm Dimmy. This guy next to me is Archie. Hehe. <laughs> we do the emergency callouts, but we handle standard patient transport too. That's right. I'm Finley. I'm one of the new interns in Internal Medicine 1. Oh, I see. With Prokowski. Prokowski. Sounds like you hit the jackpot. Yeah, I know. It's pretty tough. Tough? Krukowski's great. Oh yeah, super great. What'd you hang around here for then? Yeah, what for? Better head upstairs before you find yourself a head shorter. <laughs> Besides, we're busy right now. Yeah, we're real busy. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Nice to meet you guys. Whatever. Oh. Nice guys. Dimmy. Dimmy and Archie are ambulance drivers. I bet that's an exciting job to do. I'd love to try it out myself uh, um, someday. They've been friends their whole life. At least that's the impression I get. I can't help but think that they're not on good terms with the hospital, but maybe that's just how they are. Uh, well, you can't expect your employees to love everything about your work, right? Are you the janitor? Good morning, Gregor. How are you? Hmm. Busy? The week's only just started and the place already thinks the dumps are fire. The stench of Sir Hayes food will be stuck in my nose all day. 
Did no one come to pick up the trash? Um, hmm. Do I look like a garbage truck to you? Doesn't look like it. I didn't mean... Darn right you didn't. Otherwise, you'd be getting a much closer look at that dumpster right now. I hope your day's more relaxed from here on out. You could help with that, you know. Really? How can I help you? Don't leave garbage lying around. Don't make a mess. Don't break anything. That's it. Three very simple rules. And all these fancy doctors just don't get it. I remember. Please. You've no idea how long it took to clean up the mess after your accident. Oh, that was you? Who did you think? Okay, well, thanks. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, this is where all the medical waste ends up. That and all the leftovers from the cafeteria. Smells like the same taste, the same. Urgh. Oh, must not be good food. What do we say about um, Gregor? Gregor Glendower is the hospital janitor. He's a bit scary. I don't think he likes me very much. Yeah, probably not. Hmm. You yeah, know, I met a lot of janitors in my life and they're all really nice. Be an anteater. Okay. Let's procrastinate a bit more and go to the cafeteria. Let's check it out. Oh, he, that patient wants to talk. I'm sure. I'm sure they'll come back. This is the cafeteria, but I don't have time. I don't have time. Bre breakfast right now. I think it means um, I don't have time for breakfast right now. I can't really feel Dr. Krakowski's icy breath on my neck. Then again, nah, Bernardo's good. Let me talk. Okay, let me just see if uh, the pelican bird will come back. Oh, there we go. Did you run into a wall? No, I had an accident here a few days ago. Ah, you're the new guy, Frankie. Philip? Franco? Finley. Finley, right, right. Heard about your little episode, seems you made quite the scene. Still, look on the bright side. With how rotten everything is up there, you're lucky you didn't fall through the floorboards. You'd have landed right in our ward on the fourth floor. I'm Antonin, nurse upstairs on internal medicine too. Anyway, I gotta go. Mind your step, Funky. Funky. I just told you my name. Do I have a... Nope, nothing for... Her. I forgot her name already. Let's take the... Let's use the elevator. We're already late. The mental elevators are really slow, though. Oh, took me right to my ward, I guess. Coffee? This must, this must be the break room. Oh, hey guys. Sorry I'm late. Do, do, do. Oh. oh, she looks mad at me. This is Ping? Mia? No, that's Pina. Pina, and this is... Hey, let me check. I want to get th these names down. Okay. Oh, that's Mia. Mina is the goat looking one. Ah, Finley. Half an hour early. That's refreshing. Just what I like to see. <laughs> if only you knew. I'm early? Really? Of course not. You're horrifically late. <laughs> Again. Well... Let me guess, the bus didn't come. Yes, I'm sorry, I... The bus is unreliable, it cannot be trusted. Find a way to get here on time before we decide we cannot trust you, got it? Yes, got it, sorry Mr... Um, I mean Dr. Krukowski. If it's not too much trouble, we'll start our rounds on room 301. Alright. Oh, here it is. Let's get right to it. 
Oh, Mr. Mr. Bear. Oh, let's look at this picture. Oh, it's kind of accurate. Cause don't don't cows have like multiple stomachs? So here's Mrs. Martin. Good morning. You're very late today. Oh, even she knows. Uh, Miss Martin, a woman after my own heart. <laughs> Miss Martin's in a hurry to get home. That's a good sign. But you still need some rest. Okay, Miss Martin came to us yesterday with pain in her upper abdomen. She was also complaining of heartburn, nausea, and loss of appetite. Yes, but the real reason was a sharp pain in the heart. I panicked and called the emergency doctor. I was in so much pain, I could hardly move. That was exactly the right thing to do. Anyone have any ideas? Mia? Me? Well, come on, spit it out. Oh, uh, uh, Yes? Ulcer? A stomach ulcer? Is that a question or your answer? My answer? Bingo, the reason for the symptoms is a stomach ulcer. We still have to investigate the cause. So far, there's no indication of gastritis or anything along those lines. Okay, Miss Martin, we will probably keep you here one more night. We will check your readings again later. Just try to relax. Finley, you'll take care of Miss Martin's medication later. Let's continue in room 303. Chop chop. Look sharp. Can I talk to you? Yeah. Ouch. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll just... I'll go away now. Hope you feel better. Okay, I think they said room 303. Yes. Oh, another bear. Ooh, a pig. Well, Larissa, how are we today? Quite okay, Doc Orski. It's good to hear that. Can you take a few deep breaths in and out for us? Like last night? That's right. Careful. Sorry, Dr. Prokowski. No problem. That was very, very good. How's it going? Do you want to tell the other doctors why you're here? Yes, I can do that, Dr. K. Well, I was down at school with the others. We were at the back of the skate park. I can't skate that well. I only just got a skateboard for my birthday. But I definitely want to learn. My board is super cool. It has, been, it has green wheels and the grip tape is all black and brand new. I've heard other skaters scratch the board up on purpose to make it look cooler. I don't get that. My board has a big picture of a robot on the bottom. It's way too cool. I don't want to scratch that up. Very good, but what were you all doing down at school? Ah, well, um, it was like this. My buddy Crystal stole some cigarettes from his stepdad. He said if you want to be a good skater, you've got to smoke too. It's all part of the deal, he said. I really don't, didn't want to, but I didn't want to be a chicken, you know. I was still out of breath from practicing. He lit the cigarette and I took a drag. Super gross. I don't get why grown-ups seem to actually like those things. Anyway, I took a drag. Then all of a sudden, I couldn't breathe. I coughed and coughed, but couldn't get any air. Then I passed out. Luckily, my friends called an ambulance quickly. So yeah, that's it. Really. Thank you, Larissa. You explained it all very well. Well then, here to share your opinions on... Uh, opinions, my valued colleagues. What do you think, Finley? Hmm. I know. Dr. Rokowski already told me. Don't give it away, Larissa. Okay, sorry, Dr. Dr. Ski. <laughs> asthma? It could have been an asthma attack. Yes, asthma sounds logical. Uh, would it be asthma? Wouldn't he have had asthma already? Hmm. Okay, never mind. Indeed, logical and correct. That's why I'm not a doctor. What a stroke of luck. Without the help of my assistant Larissa, you probably wouldn't have thought of it. 
<laughs> Good, Larissa. Keep doing your breathing exercises, but don't overexert yourself. You got it, Dr. Krokowski. Okay, the last stop for today is room P33. Oh, and Finley? You already know this patient. It's Mr. Willie Arndes. I assume the name rings a bell. Mr. Arndes, yes. He's a permanent guest on our ward. Dr. Arndes is an old timer. Even discounting his recent injuries, his head isn't in the best of shape anymore. So act accordingly. Ah, uh, Mr. Arndes, my arch nemesis. Hmm. I wonder if he remembers what happened to me. Was that dream too? Was that dream real? Was it all just a construct of my imagination? P. I wonder if the P stands for permanent. Permanent 33. Oh, I gotta wait for them. Let's go. Everything will be just fine, Mr. Arndas. This matter is very important to me, and I will ensure it is resolved quickly. You can rest assured of that. Ah, Dr. Krukowski, nice to see you. Good morning, Mr. Heidrich. To what do we owe the honor? Why, Dr. Doc Mr. Arndas, of course. I heard he was on the mend. I have to say I'm very relieved. The poor gentleman has been through a lot. This incident has been of great concern to us over the past few days, as you know. I know that, yes. I've been sweating blood myself. The whole thing is rather unseemly from an insurance perspective. But I was also very worried about our patient, of course. And let's not forget our junior doctor here. I hope you're back on your feet. Ready to throw yourself back into the fray. Yes, I'm doing well. Thank you, Mr. Heidrich. It's great to have you back. Truly, I, admi I admire your dedication. It goes without saying that I don't blame you for the accident. Nobody at St. Ursula does. St. Ursula's itself is responsible for this incident. As such, we will be taking personal responsibility for the matter. I've arranged for Mr. Arndas to receive the very best treatment available. That's why we've secured him a place in the best rehab clinic in the country. He'll be well looked, at, looked after. They're around the clock. The rest will also help with his age-related dementia. Speaking of which, I'm glad I bumped into you this morning, Dr. Krakowski. Oh, really? Yes, indeed. Would you do me a favor and assess Mr. Arndas' condition at later today? If you can discharge him with a clear conscience, let me know. Then I'll arrange the transport right away. Understood. I'll take a look and let you know. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well then, I won't keep you any longer. All of our time is precious. Indeed. Oh, and if you need extra hands on your team, I'll see what I can do. A healthy infrastructure is essential. We don't want our staff overworking themselves and then calling in sick. Good luck. Here's to a successful day. Hmm. Seems like a good boss. Yes, anyway. Good morning, Mr. Arndas. You know, my daughter looks exactly like you. Yes, yes. Well, isn't she the lucky one? How are you feeling today? I just told you, didn't I? I'm afraid that must have been before I got here, Mr. Arndas. Well, what are you doing here then? I'd like to find out how you're doing and take a look at your dressings. When's lunch today? Right after this. Okay, then go ahead. Finley. Hmm? Yes? Mr. Arndas suffers from dementia but is still relatively fit, as you can see. He injured his leg as a result of the aforementioned incident. He also suffered a moderate concussion. 
Finley, would you be so kind as to change Mr. Arndis's dressing? It's important to keep the dressings fresh. We can also take a look at the wound. You want me to change the dressings right now? You can ask Mr. Arndis if he wants to do it himself if you prefer. He can't be any worse at it than you. <laughs> oh, alright, I'm doing it. Right, time to show off my skills. Good morning, Mr. Arndis. I'm very pleased to see you. Mm hmm. Do I know you? Yes, maybe. There was an incident, do you remember? I want lasagna today, but hold the salad. I can't stand all those leaves. Mr. Arndis? Finlay, what are you doing? You want me to bring you some tea and cake? All this stress has been hard on Mr. Arndas. Now let him rest and do your job. I just wanted to... Okay. Oh, treatment. Your patient is in your hands. Press and hold the buttons shown on the screen to administer treatment. Make sure you only press the buttons shown on the screen. Be as quick as possible and don't release any of the buttons as long as they are displayed. Okay. Mini game. E A. E N A. E. Oh. This is. Oh, okay. This is like playing Twister. Look at that. The dressing may be rather average, but I'm happy with the condition of the wound. I'll be back to you later. I'll be back to you later to check your readings. But there's a chance we'll be able to discharge you very soon. That would be nice, Mrs. Krokowski. Doctor? No, no, I'm not a doctor. Just an absent-minded old fool. Oh dear. Okay, we're done. Mia, Finley. Come with me, and I will give you your task for today's shift. Mr. Andes, I... Jim Crack, Dimmery Craig, and Bubbly Blubber. Sorry? There you are. Well, time for me to get back to work. My jam won't make itself, and I can't be late tonight. Good night, huh? I will soon, Mr. Andes. I wish you the best of luck. Hmm. What a... What a character. Where were we gonna meet? I guess in the center by the elevator. Wait, but it's lunchtime. Can I go get some lunch first? Oh, he looks mad at me. There you are, back to full health, I trust. Yes, all good, I'm glad to be back at work to again. In that case, I look forward to a smooth shift. I will activate today's task in your app. The walls are crumbling, but they still find money for digitalization. I still don't believe in these electronic patient records, but Hydrich and Theobald won't stop singing their praises. We've done a test run and some updates, so all the wards have to use this app now. The data protection benefits are indis indisputable. But I haven't seen any evidence of it saving us time yet. Anyway, just open the patient app on your smartphone. Everything else should be self-explanatory. The patient app. Wait, let me read. Hydrate. He's the owner, right? Roman. Oh, Roman Hydrate does the financial stuff in the hospital. It's not for me at all, but maybe he enjoys it. He asked me about the accident today and seems worried about me and Mr. Arndas. Okay. Hmm. Paint Ursula's task. Downloading today's schedule from the cloud. All right. The file tells you who to treat and what they need. Child's play, really. Any questions? I don't think so. Then you have everything you need. Report back to me when you've completed today's task. And make sure you don't collect any more band-aids on your face by the end of your shift. I'll keep an eye on your work and evaluate it. Do try to make an effort. Okay. Let's, um... Visit them in order, I guess. 
real one. He had the ulcer. You want some pills? Is that what that means? Hello. There you are again. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Martin. I'd rather make it somewhere else next time. I'd rather we make it somewhere else next time. Yes, I prefer that too. How are you? Oh, you know. I've been a little restless lately. Sometimes it feels like I can't breathe properly. I have bad stomach pains. Do you have heartburn? I always have heartburn. <laughs> Had it for years. Yes, the stomach ulcer is no joke. I've been through a lot of stress in the past few months. I've had a lot of arguments with my daughter. And my job's got me pulling my hair out. I'm very sorry to hear that, Mrs. Martin. Do you think the ulcer is stress related? Hmm. No, I don't think so. In fact, you're very unlikely to develop an ulcer just from stress. It's true that stress isn't good for the stomach, though, and it can give you heartburn. Can you do anything about it? It's lucky you came to see us er so early. That's good. Last night's tests show you have a bacterial pathogen in your stomach. That's probably what's causing the ulcer. I'm going to start by prescribing you some medication. Whatever you think will help. Alright, let's see that. Let's see. Prescribe the right medication. Try to get all the patient's readings to their optimum levels using as little medication as possible. Each type of medication affects two different readings. Once you're satisfied with the medication you've chosen, sign the prescription. Okay. Hmm. I see. Optimal level. Alright, so we need more reds. So, let's get more of this. And... More of this. Wait. Not more of that? Hmm. Oh, it's like a mini game. Okay. We need more orange. <laughs> Let's trash. Trash all these. more so right now we have the good orange we need a lot of red let's more of this let's get we need more orange Orange. Now we got too much red and too much everything else. Hmm. Let's get rid of. Let's get. It's a matter if I'm over. Probably doesn't, right? Let's get rid of that. I'm over a little bit, but let's let's get rid of some red and green. Hmm. This gives me red and green. This could be too much. Okay, let's just sign off on that and see what happens. Oh, that's it. Oh, it's a C because I went over. Well, that should have you feeling better in no time. Someone will come and give you your medication before lunch. Until then, try to get some sleep. Yes, I should rest my eyes. I was up all night with the pain. I will soon. See you later. Thank you and good night. Okay, I did her. Over to... Let's walk over to... 
I forgot his name. But skater... Skater boy. My nickname for him. Hey, Doc. What's your name? Hey, Larissa. Oh, sorry, her. Skater girl. Hey, Larissa, I'm Finley. I'll be examining you over the next few days, okay? Nothing to worry about. Okay, whatever you say, doctor. I'd like you to listen to your lungs. I'd like to listen to your lungs. You mean you want to put that freezing cold thing on my chest? I'm afraid so, but don't worry, it's not that cold. I don't know. Actually, I guess it is a bit cold most of the time. But it'll only be for a moment. You think you can manage that? Hmm, yes. Okay. Shall we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Take up thy thesiscope. Thes thes That's spelled right. Jumping hearts, rattling lungs. Press the buttons shown on the screen at the right moment. Arrow keys. Okay. Hold WASD when a button appears on the top or bottom line. Okay. What? Okay, it's my first time doing it, so... No judge. That was a C, wasn't it? Oh, it was a B. Okay. That really was only code for a second. <laughs> what did you hear, Doc? Nothing too bad, Larissa. But there was a faint rattle. A rattle? Like the musical instrument? Yes, kind of. I used to play one of those in my school orchestra. But I don't swallow it. I didn't swallow it, I promise. Makes me think you did. Actually, I think it's your body that's rattling. Is that bad? Hmm. I think this is the right answer. Have you heard of asthma? Yes, I've heard of it. That sounds bad. Can you die from it? Do you think I have asthma? Will I die from it? No, don't worry. It could be asthma, but we're running some more tests. And if it is asthma, then there's nothing to be afraid of. Promise? I promise. Okay. Try to make yourself as comfortable as possible here. I'll check on you again tomorrow, okay? Sure thing. Nice, okay. Can I check? Oops, not messages. Okay. I thought there'd, there'd be like a progress bar on the top that tells me like, I checked these patients, so go to the next one, but nope. Okay, room 304. I haven't met this person yet. Hello. Good morning, Miss Helmick. You've just had thyroid surgery, right? How are you today? I'm very thirsty. Talking and swallowing are difficult. That's very understandable. Please take it easy then. Drinking can be a little tricky when you've just had surgery. But once the wound has healed a bit and the swelling has gone down, it'll be fine. You'll be on your feet again in no time. That would be nice. I'd hate to... I've just spent the last good days of the year stuck in here. We'll make sure it doesn't come to that. We'll change your dressings and take a quick look at your sutures. Um. Okay. Oh. This is the same mini game from last time. Uh, that's quite difficult. I got that's my best mini game yet. Looking good so far. Everything seems to be alright. Try to talk as little as possible and drink a lot. Okay. Alright. Straightforward. Let's report back to Dr. Brokowski. 
I'm assuming she's Russian, like a Russian tiger. Or a Russian leopard, perhaps? I'm not sure. Oh, done, Dr. Krokowski. Good, good. How was it? Pretty good, I think. All right, let's see. Oh, no. Oh, be average. Everything seems in order here. Perhaps a knock to your head did some good after all. Keep it up, Finley. Okay. I have another task for you. I'm giving you the opportunity, opportunity to save me some time and get to know the hospital a little better. Sure, what can I do? I need you to go to the lab in the basement. Just keep following the stairs until you... Until you're... You're... Until you get to the bottom. The door's on the right. But you can also take the elevator if you like. I've sent some blood samples to Dr. Hal Halil and I need the results. Can you manage that without injuring yourself again, Finley? As long as the stairs don't collapse underneath me, I should be okay. Well, let's all keep our fingers crossed then. Off you go, I need those results today. Lab, basement, Dr. Hello. Got it. Alright, to the basement. Let's try not to get into an accident. Hmm. Down we go. You know, taking the stairs is actually a pretty good exercise. I just lost three calories. I best keep my hands off the dusty old files. Hold on. Is that my name on there? No, Finley, put yourself together. You're seeing things. I mean, it makes sense you're... You'd have a file on you. I mean, you got into an accident. And they probably treated you. What's over here? Oh, this is the basement, right? What's this? Is this the main floor? Okay, if this is the main floor, then the cafeteria is just over here. Yes, okay. Let's go to the basement then. Let me turn up the volume just a bit. Um, actually, that, that sounds good. Wow, this looks super... Confidential. Oh, what's down here? Graffiti? Must be an exit. The hospital archives. Oh. No one knows what treasures they hide. Treasures made out of old moldy paper if the smell is anything to go by. That and 40 years of stale cigarette smoke. Okay, this must be where the blood samples are locked. Hello? See that red light above the door? That? What? Ah, yes, I see it. Good, good, excellent. Well then. So I'm here to... You see the red light, don't you? Yes, I see the red light. A red light usually means something like very busy. Prohibited. Negative. No access. Simply. No. But I need the blood results urgently for Dr. K Krukowski. Dr. Krukowski, is it? I see. That does, that does alter the parameters somewhat. You want to see a magic trick? I'm not sure. Yes, yes, of course you do. Pay attention. Ta-da! Wonderful, isn't it? And I haven't even stood up yet. Can I go in now? What do you think? You see a green light, don't you? Silver condescending. 
Cool. Nice little lab you got here. Oh. Are you, um, Dr. Hello? Alright, here I am. Whoa. What are you doing here? I was outside the door. I was just talking to you. Fascinating. And? And what? The light, was it green? Yes, it was green. Excellent. Look, I need the blood results that Dr. Krukowski asked you for. Ah, indeed, indeed. So why are we wasting our time chatting? Follow me. I think I have your results around here somewhere. Okay. I'll follow you. You, uh, your Mo? Aren't Mo's blind? Oh, that's why we have glasses. <laughs> now, where are we? I mean, where were we? Yeah, yes. The documents you requested should be just here. You keep your documents in the blood refrigerator? Of course. Saves time when matching them to the samples. I'm a great believer in shortcuts, you know. But they become so much more efficient if one reduces the distances between A and B. My system is simple. It cuts down on sorting and filing work too. And now, you too can benefit <laughs> can benefit from the fruits of my diligence. Well, if that's all. Oh no. Oh. <gasps> oh jeez. Oh no. Oh horror. What a mishap. That bang made my heart jump. My whole system. I... Let me just put things right and... It'll be alright again. No time. Oh, whoa, is it is me? Can I help you? What do you mean? You want to help me? That makes me very uncomfortable. Oh, that happens. Let's see. Just a minute. What do the samples have? Why do the ha samples have different colored lids? That, my dear doctor, that's my sorting system. <laughs> it looks complicated. On the contrary, it's as easy as pie. E each sample has a sticker on the lid. Each sticker has four different colors on it. Some of the samples fell out due to the accident. Others have gone and turned around so they're not facing the right way. You need to turn the samples round until the same colors are facing each other. When four samples are positioned correctly, they will make a single squared color. Once all the samples are facing the right way, you will be able to see where the samples that fell out slot in. It's quite simple. Okay, I got it. You're very smart. Alright, let's do this. What a dice ah, disaster. Samples got mixed up, but you can fix this. Use Q and E to rotate the flask. A flask is in the... A flask is in the correct position when the colors of all four segments match with the segments of the adjacent bottles to form a square. Use E and spacebar to move flasks that fell out. Alright, let's just try it. So that's where I am. Hmm. So they all form a square, huh? Oh, I see. Can I, can I rotate them? No? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's start with the first one again. This one should go... It should form a square with the colors, right? So, red... Should go here? Oh, I can move them. Well, that's red, right? Hmm. I guess I should move all of them. Wait, that form's red. Why is it... Okay. Okay, this obviously forms green, right? Mm. 
And there should be a red one here. Let's move this one here. Now it forms red. Because the corners form a red square. Hmm. Put this one here. And here. Green, green, green. That's not how it works. How come it worked here? Should be blue. This should be blue. And this should be yellow. This is not green. This should be green. Oh, never mind. Be that. This be green? No? What color should this be then? Well, this should be red. For sure. There you go. This should be blue. Okay, I can get it. Let's replace this and this one. And this one. Okay. This should be red. This will form a red square here. This should form a green square, but it should also form a red square. So it should have. So I think this one goes here. And let's turn it. Oh, it doesn't? Could be this one too, I guess. Actually, it could be either one of these. Nope, not that one. Okay, I guess it's this one. Let me turn it. Oh, how is it that one? Okay, let's go here. Um, it seems like it should be this one. Yes. Okay. And... This should have a red corner along with a green corner and a blue corner. So red, green, blue, and yellow. So it should be this one. And let me switch it there. Oh wait, not. Hmm. Wasn't aren't we in a bit of a wait if I switch it like this this No Hmm Doesn't work Oh wait the other one there over oh, there is also Okay this one must go here Yes the, the, wait but that's not green. There we go. And let's turn this blue. Okay. And oh, it's gotta go here. Not sure why it's not. Okay. Always have to turn it, I guess. Alright. I think I. I understand now. Took a while. 
You see? Fantastic, isn't it? My system is infallible. Thanks. Thank you for your efforts. I had a better... I had better get back to work my work. Alright. Um, doctor, hello? Was there something else, dear doctor? The results for Dr. Krakowski? Alright. Doctor... <laughs> right, Dr. Krakowski. Why didn't you say? You know, I've always... I'm always happy to help, but I only have 24 hours in my day. Here you are. With my flawless system, I always have everything into my hand. Everything to hand. Enjoy. And please don't forget to close the door behind you. One needs to hear my oneself think, don't you know? Right. Right. Can I take the elevator? Yes, I can. Use the elevator. I didn't choose what, what floor I wanted to go to. Oh, I guess it already knows. Hey. Here are your blood results, Dr. Krokowski. And why did it take so long? Did the bus did the bus to the lab not turn up? No, I had to help Dr. Halil sort his samples. You had to help him? Yes, I Do you see Dr. Halil here heading to the patients on the third floor? No, you don't, because that's not his job. St. Ursula's is a finely tuned machine. If one cog fails, everything grinds to a halt. Call it a day and take some rest. Maybe you'll feel a bit more up to speed tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning, right on time for the, for the start of the shift. I expect to see the same level of performance in your treatments as you show today. Got it. Have a nice evening, Dr. Krukowski. Oh, I disappoint disappointed her. Have a relaxing evening, Finley. But she's nice. And I want to see if I can visit anyone. Oh, I can go to the bathroom. The ward bathroom. If you're lucky, it's clean. Sometimes you can hear faint whimpering noises coming from the stalls. I've been told that's completely normal. Hmm, maybe in this world it is. I think I'm going to visit Dr. Not Dr. Mr. Arndez. He seems like a vital character in this story. Nope, I can't. All right. Break room? Nope. Already evening. I didn't even have lunch. Let's head to the cafeteria. Uh, you know what? I'll walk. We took the elevator up. Let's take the stairs down. It's much easier going down anyway. To the cafeteria. I hope they have some... Oh, it's closed. I'd rather just go to bed as soon as possible. Wow, it's already dark. I didn't, I barely did anything. Oh, Ingrid. Another day done. Any trouble getting back into the groove? You were only sick, off sick for a few days. But it's funny how quickly you forget things sometimes. I don't know... Things don't go too well today. They didn't go too well today. Trouble with Dr. Krukowski? I don't think she likes me. Liking ain't got nothing to do with it, sweetie. Dr. Krukowski doesn't tolerate mistakes. She's an... He's an... A tough cookie. I'll make an effort, kiddo. Who knows? You might even learn something. I'll do my best. Have a nice evening, Ingrid. You too. See you tomorrow. Ingrid size. I 
the bus stop is working now. Wow, someone's gotta fix this leak. Or just turn this off. You're not even watering the plants. You're watering the sidewalk. Oh. You're still here. Double shift today, I'm guessing. Clean up and treat yourself to a coffee break every now and then. Bus stop. I'm not even trying. The bus won't come. Will I ever see it again? Wow, it is... I didn't have lunch or dinner. Oh, comes up there. Hello. Wow, that's a nice view. This, even this evening, isn't it lovely? The warm air that still has a little bit of summer left in it. The golden falls... No, the golden fall sun is slowly going to sleep. Ah, uh, how wonderful. Yeah. I feel the need to say something profound. I think I'll rest, resist the search, though. Oh, here's the camper. That weird truck is still here. Whoa. What the? Take it easy now. I don't want any trouble. I should probably leave. That was odd. Someone in there? Hmm. Oh, hey. I guess you're done with the view. I always feel like jumping makes you go faster. Nope, oh, that's your time. Looks like the fountain really is broken. Or maybe they just turn it off when winter starts closing in. I hope you don't die of thirst up there. Stop following me. Help. Dog is chasing me. Oh, you're new. What do you want, Pipsqueak? Can't you let me smoke here in peace? Hey, I know you. You're one of that hospital gang, aren't you? One of that little busybody's pals. You mean Carl? Yeah, that's the one. He needs to keep away from me. Tell him that from me. Why? Did I stutter? Get lost. I'm not in the mood. It's these days. Hmm, who's Carl? Hey. Finally clocking off for the day, huh? Y yes. At long last. You're still here too, I see. Bill, please. I'm back here after quite an eventful day. So what now? Off to paint the town red? No, not today. I'm too exhausted. Exhausted at your age? You should enjoy yourself while you can. Believe me, I used to be a real live fire. A young tearaway. <laughs> I can still cut a rug on the dance floor. Just as long as the night as the music's right. Then I'll have the joint shaking. Believe you me. I used to be the last one standing every Friday night. I don't doubt it. But I'll have to pass today. Morning shift. You understand. Alright, alright. But let me tell you, if I'd slept as much as your as much at your age, I'd be even older than I am now. Can I go in the pub? I can hear voices coming from Gilbert's. Giuliano's probably in full flow already, handing out drinks left, right, and center. But I'm too exhausted. Maybe tomorrow. Right now, I need sleep. Same. Bus stop. Over the bridge. And to the moon. Oh. 
the flyers I got when I moved in say people come to Porcupine for the fresh air. That it can re-energize your body and mind. I don't know if that's true. But apparently Porcupine and the Glow Milk Woods in particular are popular with out-of-town visitors. Especially those with asthma or burnout. Luckily, luckily I don't have either. At least not yet. Mm -hmm. It's a quaint small town. It's nice. I like it. I like the setting. Living in a big city makes you disconnect from nature. And this little town is literally full of animals and nature. And a bike that Finley says he's gonna steal. This is it. Oh, it never went this way. Playground. Is there more? Oh, there is. I hear a river or flowing water. Can I keep going this way? Hmm. This must be how everyone enters the, the town. What's this? There's a note on the chair. I'm already gone. No more gas in the tank. I'll be back tomorrow. Until then, just keep breathing, okay? Greetings. F. Hmm, good advice. I'll keep breathing until tomorrow. <laughs> Can I jump in the water? No. I wonder if I came earlier, I could meet the person that was sitting on that chair. I'll do that next time. to my cozy apartment. I can't wait to just flop into bed. Yeah, I think I'm ready for bed. Off to bed. I want to be... I want to be on form tomorrow. Good night, world. Good night, Finley. Good morning. I'm alert. I'm up for it. I can do anything. I'm on top of the world. That's what I would say right now if I were the kind of guy who cheers himself on the mirror every morning. Luckily, I'm not that kind of guy. And luckily, I don't have a mirror. That would be uncomfortable for everyone involved. But at least I got out of bed on time today. That's a huge success by itself if you ask me. And I've got rid of that awful band-aid too. Almost seven years of studying medicine and I can finally take a band-aid off without it hurting. Maybe I do have what it takes. Yeah, you got it, Finley. And we'll leave it at that for today. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this playthrough. I look forward to the next part.